Well, I always said that this stunk had to be part of when you were in school, but you always had to go first, so I guess here we go again. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to tell this down. I had a 20 minute speech, but I'll have to shorten it a little bit to make it go a little faster for you. Um, a little closer there, can you hear? Okay. Um, my name is Brad Hill. I moved here with my family in 1978 when my dad was transferred to Marshall to be plant manager of Anchor Foods, which later became ConAgra. I spent my entire life in Marshall other than when I went to college. And when I graduated from Marshall High School, I went to uh, St. Louis University where I graduated with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. I ended up coming back to Marshall and where I served the Marshall Police Department for several years, almost 15 years. And I felt like I accomplished lots of things when I was at the Marshall Police Department. I was a D.A.R.E. instructor and some of my former D.A.R.E. students are here. Um, uh, I was an evidence collection officer. I was signed to the major case squad for 10 years. Uh, I handled all the major cases because I was the detective sergeant for 10 years. I was a DEA clan lab school where I, and later I was certified as an expert witness in the production of methamphetamine and testified in hundreds of cases over the years. Later on, I went back and furthered my education by getting a master's degree in business, and I did that for a reason. I had what I felt like it was a basis in criminal justice, and I knew my, what my future, I wanted to be in administration, and running a sheriff's office is a business. It's a $2 million budget business, and that's what I wanted to concentrate on that time to uh, further my ability to effectively run an agency. Um, I've uh, volunteered for various things in the uh, Slane County area. I've been on the uh, Courthouse Pres uh, Restoration Committee, on the Slane County Preservation Committee, uh, the Sweet Springs Historical Society. So I've tried to remain active in my community too. I'm going to close this by um, saying that I was at the home show a couple of weeks ago, and right at the end, a young lady came up to me and said, there's a bunch of candidates for sheriff. And I said, yeah, there is. And she said, how does somebody pick a sheriff if you know nothing about it and nothing about the candidates? And what I told her is, is what I'm going to tell you today. Make you a list. Think about what a sheriff needs to do. Whatever your list is, it'll be different than mine, I'm sure. But think about the real things the sheriff needs to be. My list consisted of he needs to be an administrator, he needs to have an understanding of law enforcement. He has to be dedicated to his industry and to his community. And he has to be professional, professional and honest. Whatever your list is, make it. Then look at all those candidates. And I think at the end, you'll make some conclusions. And I hope your conclusion is that I'm the best candidate for sheriff. And I appreciate your support. Thank you. You know, Amy, you spoke of Mr. Burns. I also graduated high school, and Mr. Burns kept me out of a lot of trouble. But don't forget about Mr. Guthrie. Probably my fondest memory in school is him singing Johnny Cash does as he walk in the classroom. <laughs> if we can get a reenactment of that sometime this evening, I may throw some extra money in the kitty on the way out the door. For you, for you those that don't know, that don't know me, my name is John Burge. I'm, I'm running for sheriff as well. Uh, my wife's name is Kayla. She's working this evening. She works as a nurse here in town, so she wasn't able to be here. Uh, Kayla and I have four boys. Uh, Paul, who's nine. Kayla, who's seven. Henry, who's four. And Ruskin, who's, who's two. Uh, we live on a farm just outside of Arrow Rock. Uh, they're on the farm. My grandma Mary, who is with me tonight, she lives there with my dad, uh, Brad, and my Aunt Jenna. Uh, I was actually born into the house that I live in now. I'll probably always live there. I've worked in law enforcement my entire adult life, which is about 17 years. Uh, my career began with the Cooper County Sheriff's Department when I was 18. I went, I went to work there in jail. I got certified as a peace officer when I turned 21 and then came to work at the police department here in Marshall. Uh, at 21, I started as a patrolman. I worked my way up through the ranks and, and ended as a detective sergeant. I'm now currently on reserve status so I can dedicate my time to running for sheriff. Uh, I'm running for sheriff because I want to ensure that, that my kids have similar experiences growing up here as I did. 
I want everybody to feel that they that they they and their property are both safe. And I live in a rural area of the county. I have an understanding of the problems faced by by rural residents as well as the the problems by, faced by those living in town. Uh, by voting for me, you'll be voting for a person who's deeply rooted in the community. My family came to this area in probably 1804 when my three times great grandfather uh, came up the river and settled here. Just it wasn't a rock at the time, it was just South Carolina. Uh, so I would certainly appreciate your support. Thank you. And if you'd like the microphone, Mr. Gretzer, it's all yours for me. I've got about 30 seconds left. Thank you. Um, thank you, Seth. My name's Sean Coleman. Uh, I, too, have Lonnie Burns. I think it may be a Lonnie Burns reunion tonight. Um, I was born and raised here in Saline County after I graduated high school from the United States Marine Corps where I was a military policeman. Uh, after serving my tour with the Marine Corps, I got out of the St. Louis area where I got my Class A certification in 1998. Um, while I was in St. Louis, I was a YMCA uh, instructor for everything from water fitness to uh, water classes for infants, all the way to the terrified of water. I was a lifeguard instructor. I also served with the American Red Cross teaching first aid, CPR, AED. Um, while I was down there, I was a Marine Corps League member. I had my own honor guard team. We went out every Saturday and did one to two funerals a Saturday to help give our veterans a send off and, and show the respect to their family. Um, while I was down there in St. Louis, I had a lot of good training. Um, I became an accident reconstructionist. I worked in the private sector and the professional side. I got certified as a state certified fire investigator. Same as uh, when the state fire marshal's office comes down and, and investigates the fire, I worked hand in hand with him. I went to the Highway Patrol and went to several other classes where I became a site safety officer for meth labs. So not only was I involved with the manufacturing and knowing what steps it was in, but also responsible for all the men and women who showed up to help take care of that. Um, as you, I'm also a candidate for sheriff, obviously, with what I bring is on more education for the deputies. I want them to be able to go out and have the training, search for the free trainings and the most economical training. Education is power, and that you can't take education away from somebody. So you get your deputies out here, you get them trained, and if there's not room for promotion, they have the opportunity to apply with another department, and there they can carry on and, and take what you taught them or what I've taught them <laughs> onto that next department. So, um, in closing, I appreciate everybody's time, and I appreciate everybody who came out, and I appreciate your support. I'm Jesse Coughlin. I lived in Marshall all my life. I currently work at the uh, fire department as a battalion chief and uh, at the sheriff's department as maintenance. Uh, I feel that I'm a problem solver, that I, I like to pro solve problems and uh, uh, would like to have the opportunity to be able to serve as sheriff of Saline County and uh, make the uh, uh, county a safer place, uh, not that it's not now, but be able to give the uh, citizens of, of Sling County uh, the protection and, and uh, what they need. That's it. Well, I've been back several years in law enforcement. I've had 26 years in the Sheriff's Department, 12 of them as Chief Deputy, 4 of them in the Prosecutor's Office as the Chief Investigator. And like I said, I have got 12 years with the City of Sweet Springs as the Chief. I know what it is to have a budget. I know what it is to live by a budget. I know what it is to make a budget. And it is big business all the way around. <coughs> There's several different things that uh, I feel that we need to change in our county. There's a lot of stuff that uh, hasn't been issued for a long time. We don't have enough people at night running our county roads. We just don't have the coverage. And there's one thing I'll tell you right now. I will not take no $80,000 from anybody. Uh, I think some of you know what I'm talking about. I appreciate it. 
any consideration you can give me. If you look at the little sheets that I've got out here on the table, I believe in the internal and external audits. I have said this for a long time. We should have been doing this for a very long time, and it hasn't been done.